In today's video, I will be demonstrating how to get a web shell in WordPress and then how to go from web shell to reverse shell. This does require administrator privileges. Maybe you got those credentials from a local file inclusion vulnerability. Hint, hint. All right, let's get started. So first thing we want to do is go to the WordPress login page, enter our username and password, hit the login button. When the page loads, you'll see the dashboard. We're going to hover over the appearance tab, hit the editor button. When this finishes loading, we're going to see some uh, files to the right under templates. There'll be uh, theme functions or functions.php. We're going to click on that and this will allow us to edit that file. Great. We're going to add a function that'll give us a web shell. We don't want to mess with any of the previous code, so we're going to find a nice blank spot. Here looks pretty good. We're going to write function. We could call this anything we want. I'm going to call it web shell. Put in the parentheses, curly brackets. I'm going to tab. I'm going to hit echo. Uh, shell exec. We're going to put the parentheses there. We're going to put money sign underscore get bracket command. Oh, we want to put that in a parentheses command closing square bracket whatever closing parentheses semicolon and that's all we need but we also need to add that function to the header we're going to hit add action we're going to put wp underscore head and then we're going to pass it the name of our function which is called web shell go ahead and add that semicolon your code should look exactly like this now let's go ahead and scroll down, update the file, and now we should have a web shell. Let's open up a new tab. We'll visit the website. We're going to pass in the query string, pass it command and whatever we whatever command we want to run. We'll test it with uh, ls. Awesome. We see the contents of that directory. Now we want to get a reverse shell. Open up your terminal or visit pentest monkey wherever you have a reverse shell code. I'm going to hit RS dash port 443. Um, my interface is PPPO. The language I want it in is going to be bash. Great. What? Something happened. Let's see what I did wrong. This is supposed to be a dash L, not a dash I. Great. Now I'm going to go ahead and save that code to a file. Leave pad shell.txt paste that code in and then close this. Now I'm going to use a handy dandy tool called HURL. The capital U, that means URL encoded. We're going to pass it the name of the file, which is shell.txt. And we've got our output here ready to be passed to our browser. We're going to right click copy. Uh, we want to make sure we have a netcat listener running netcat nlvp443 pass the shell code and we see it loading that's a good sign let's go back to our terminal and we've got a shell going where am i awesome if you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe i really hope you enjoyed this video again guidedhacking.com slash donate patreon.com slash guidedhacking Please support us so that we can continue to make videos and peace out.